In today's video, we'll be answering the question, can your WhatsApp account be hacked? Let's jump right. When we are talking about hacking on a social media app like WhatsApp, what we should take note of is that there are two sides to it. Through your end, due to your own oversight, through WhatsApp's end, maybe as a result of something that they did not do right or trying to exploit a hole in the whole WhatsApp, in the whole WhatsApp ecosystem. That is talking about the server, your connection to the server and the nature of the connection between your phone and the server, etc. So to properly answer the question, I would say both yes and no. Let's take a look at how WhatsApp works before we go into the methods and the different types of exploits that can be carried out on your WhatsApp account. Please, let's take note of the fact that WhatsApp messages are not stored on WhatsApp servers. Their messages are stored on your device. So for somebody to be able to gain unauthorized access to your WhatsApp account, that means the person has to have access to your device. Besides that, the connection between your phone and the WhatsApp server and the person you are chatting with, the connection between his or her phone with the WhatsApp server, according to WhatsApp, is fully encrypted, okay? Which means it is only translated back to English when it gets to the destination. That even when it is on, on transit, it is not translated, which means it is in a, in a cryptic form. You, you write in English or whatever language you are chatting in, it is converted to gibberish and the gibberish is transferred over the network. When it arrives at the destination, the gibberish is now converted back to the language that the person understands and it, is, it gets displayed in the WhatsApp. So basically that is how WhatsApp works. Now let's also look at the different methods that hackers use or data thieves as I prefer to call them. The different methods in which data thieves use to access your WhatsApp account. Number one, they will try to, in the in the world of cybersecurity, this is called um, social engineering, okay? They try to take advantage of your own weakness to exploit you. Basically, they know that people will like free stuff and they will send you an SMS or a message on, on WhatsApp or whatever, trying to get the OTP from you. Let's look at this scenario. You have a WhatsApp account and somebody wants to gain unauthorized access to that WhatsApp account. He tries to, he gets your phone number, installs WhatsApp on a different phone during the installation process whatsapp will send an otp to your phone number and the person will try to scam you out of that otp so that they can you know register um, whatsapp on a different phone which is not yours of course so to be able to do that they will send you a message saying look you have won a certain amount of money but for you to gain access to that money you have to send the, the, the code that has just been sent to your phone back to us if you happen to send that code back to the person that is requesting for that code just know that your whatsapp account is gone these messages come in different form it can come in the form of lottery winnings it can come in the form of different types of scam offers okay somebody can offer to you know hack your husband's phone and send you all the messages and then tells you to hand over your husband's otp to him so that he or she can gain access to your husband's account and then get all the messages for you of course automatically because this is what you want you will easily hand over the otp to them and by doing that automatically you have lost access to that whatsapp account the good thing here is that it is very easy to get your whatsapp account back because once a whatsapp account is installed on a different device you you will be logged out right you will be logged out but since you have access to the actual sim that receives the sms you can basically uninstall whatsapp or you can clear data or clear cache in your device reinstall whatsapp and that person will be logged out and you will regain access to your whatsapp account the only backside to this is that you will lose your conversations on whatsapp but it is better to lose conversations than to lose access to your whatsapp account i guess there's another exploit that was discovered some time ago called mac address spoofing well it was discovered at one point that uh, whatsapp uses the mac address of your device to associate it with a, your whatsapp account so somebody can change the mac address of a different phone to the same mac address of your own phone and then try to trick the whatsapp system to thinking that that other device is the same as this other device which you have whatsapp on but the the, the good news there is that that person needs to have access to your phone to be able to get your mac address your ip address imei number and all the other information that they will need to set up a clone device that uh, could be seen on, over a network as though it is your own device so if you happen to prevent access or unauthorized access to your device from
from you know suspicious individuals you will be doing yourself a world of good another way that people can easily gain access to your whatsapp is using the already existing methods like setting up whatsapp web on their device of course i, I have a video talking about how to set up whatsapp web and it will be linked also in the description another method a person might want to use to have access to your chat not necessarily your whatsapp account this time another method they can use to have access to your chat is by backing up your chats on either sending it as sms or as email address to a different device where they can now sit down and go through all the chat that has been backed up so basically basically from what we have seen so far the main method that people use in gaining unauthorized access to your whatsapp account is when you give it to them either by handing over your device to this malicious person or by handing over access to your information to the malicious person in conclusion i would say do not hand over your phone to strangers except you have put the appropriate security features in place another method another thing you should take note of is that you should properly secure your whatsapp account to avoid unauthorized access so if this video was useful to you please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video